Hello, today... Uh, uh, the Mighty 5TH... <laughs> Thank you.
as soon as there was a rumor about this thing, Facebook was exploding and everyone was like, hey, Henning, are you going to do the Mighty Fifth Amendment? Of course, uh, I immediately wrote to my Halibut people and said, hey, uh, when are you getting this thing in? And they said, well, oh, hey, it's coming. And so, of course, they've already made their videos. I'm like way late to the party, but here it is. And um, apparently this is an all-tube 5 watt mini amp for, as far as I know, 130-ish bucks. Plus minus, who knows what the market is dictating. So, let's unbox this and see what it does. Um, hey, is the price in here? Let's find out. Obviously, they wouldn't dare to charge me. 129 bucks, it is... It says, wire the money now, bitches. I'm gonna go with no. No, I'm gonna go with screw that. They can come and get it from me. <laughs> um, here's a Bedienungsanleitung in German. Here's a user manual in English. A very detailed user manual in English for a thing that has three knobs or something. So, look at this. Nicely packaged with styrofoam, which I always bitch about. But for an amp this small, this is very, very solid packaging. Not environmentally friendly packaging, but okay. I'm not gonna throw the packaging away anyway. I always keep packaging for my amp heads. Look at this, and then it's protected with these super sturdy corners. They are very, <laughs> there's three gel, silica gel packets in here. They're very serious about protecting a very inexpensive amp. Holy crap. Power cable. They are serious about shipping this without any breakage. Okay. And uh, there it is. How, what does it look like? Well, I don't know. You decide. Uh, I like the foldable thing, which I always, I don't like when you can put things on top, I, it's so small you couldn't put anything on top. Anyway, um, there's the brand spanking new Harley Benton logo, whether or not that's an improvement, you decide. I think it's a little bit of an improvement. Um, personally, I never like these knobs. They look like an old coffee maker. Um, I like the little silver switch things. They just feel more, you know, valuable to me. This looks... Like a coffee maker to me. I always com complain about that when uh, companies send me their products, but whatever. Do we need the on off on it if you have an I and an O? A little bit too much information if you ask me. We have volume, bass and treble. I guess if you wanted to crank a bit, you're gonna have to crank up the volume. Uh, that's the kind of amp that it is. We have input. Half the amp inside, which you can't really see, is a transformer. And there are um, two tubes inside. There's a probably 12 x 7 and an one EL84. There's other things in here. Wow, it has a, an attenuator. 5 watt, 1 watt, point 0.1 watt. That is pretty damn awesome and you can set that differently for the 8 and the 16 ohm. I don't know why. Um, but that makes it a bedroom amp. The feet are as well, short as they come, which means you can't put that on anything other than a table. You can't put that on, you know, another amp on top of there as a handle, which, but that's, you don't, you know, that's not the idea. So, 129 bucks, all tube, portable, attenuatable. Now, realistically, wow, Leslie is fucking on it. Um, realistically, uh, I'm not going to put this on the table now and check it out. I'm going to play this for a few weeks. I think Bruno is doing something he's not supposed to in the living room upstairs. Uh, I'm going to check this out for a few weeks and then actually speak from Le Experience to you. By the way, if you want your own Meerkat sweater, and why wouldn't you? Because it's so awesome. Go to Mr. Google um, and com link below and uh, get your own meerkat sweater and I gotta say this not because I'm getting paid but because I want them to send me more meerkat sweaters or whatever they print on them which is all freaking ridiculous bye bye
Uh, I mean, I'll see you in a minute, uh, which is weeks later because now I've played with this for weeks. In this video, you see some Holly Benton stuff, like the stripey stripe thing, the box that's on the table, if you please, Leslie. And back to me. The box that's there, and the little boxes that you can see in another camera, if you please, Leslie. Thank you. I get a lot of crap when I review cheap gear. Or, yeah, I mean, cheap doesn't mean bad. You know that I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And I uh, demo it with more expensive gear. My reasoning is, let's take any kind of uh, culprit out of the chain. If I review a cheap pedal, let's make sure everything is brilliant around it, from the cables to the guitars to everything else, so that we can't say, well, but you used a crappy amp. Now, let's see what we can get for a budget, which in this case means the Harley Benton Mighty Fifth. Don't ask me why that's called that. We'll use this guitar, which is not the stock SC550. The pickups in it are worth more than the guitar itself. Um, those are Fishman Fluence Classics, and it's got a fret job. It's got a new uh, um, um, uh, GraphTech ratio tuners. Um, it's a nice guitar now, and it was a nice guitar when I got it. Uh, and on the table, obviously, we'll check out the Harley Benton uh, Mighty Fifth with some Harley Benton pedals, uh, and I have a more equalizer. They are also rather inexpensive, little delay. So, uh, and if you're gonna ask me, yes, the Harley Benton pedals are similar or pretty much exactly the same as the Joyo pedals, please don't ask me, they are. And at some point, we're gonna pump it into the speaker right there, which is a Harley Benton 112 loaded with the Vintage 30, which we will mic with two Lewitt uh, LCT 340s stereo right there on the table in front of me, right, these things, the pointy things, um, about as far away from the speaker as you can see right there, um, and those mics clock in at a good 900 bucks as a pair. That's the setup, and I guess uh, we'll check out the amp. Non-master volume for you noobs means if you want it to distort, you're going to have to crank it up. With volume comes tube saying, oh no, please don't do that! And that is a pleasurable sound. But that distortion also means it is power amp distortion. It comes by blowing up the amp. This is how Hendrix got to distort. And um, that means it is very... It's not very defined. It's not, it's not a metal kind of distortion. It's not a... Chicka, 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 chicka. It's more of a... That kind of a sound. Um, just to let you know, if you wanted to distort with headroom, meaning there's still some nice dynamics and uh, articulation, you need to put a distortion pedal in front of it and not crank it up to its full volume. How much is full volume? I can only try to explain that to you uh, and will also, of course, mic it in the room. So uh, this amp is as simple as it comes. You turn it on with the on switch, uh, volume, Bass and treble, no middle. Uh, input. On the back, there are outputs for uh, 8 or 16 ohm, and you can attenuate it. Attenuating means that 5 watt is still pretty damn loud, and you can actually get that down to bedroom level if you wanted that. By going down to 1 watt and um, 0.1 watt, that should be rather quiet. Um, the only thing that's quite pricey actually way more expensive than anything we're using uh, together is the univ that's the wrong finger uh, you, the, the universal audio aux which is the speaker simulation we're going through up to the point where we pump it into the room and now enough here we go this is the sound where it's set right now <laughs> Now if I switch the guitar to single coil, it gets cleaner because less output. You notice it's quite midzy, it's got that sound. Um, it's got sweet mids.
Ooh. So if I want it cleaner, I have to reduce the volume. By reducing the volume, it also gets quieter, hence the name volume. Now with hamburger, I have it clean. Now, it doesn't have an effects loop, which means one, when it is driving itself, meaning when there's distortion happening from the amp, uh, having a delay or reverb time-based effects in front of the amp is not a great idea because uh, they will be compressed and, and uh, made too loud. Uh, so if you want to use those effects, use pedals in front of the amp, then those pedals are in front of the delay and reverb and that goes into the clean setting on the amp. Which brings the question, how loud does it get in the room while still being clean? Which we can answer by me rolling over there. played that for you know who you are I don't know the rhythm I don't know I don't know the stupid wonder warp crap song anyway uh, it's is it loud enough in clean where it is right now to survive in a band hmm 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 borderline if a drummer was playing and a bass player yeah you could you could I mean yeah. So if I'm talking, this is how loud it is. Maybe that's a good idea. If I'm talking and I'm playing, see how loud you can still hear me. So this is about how loud the amp is. Um, if we are cranking it up. pretty blown up now it's definitely loud but it is a very wishy-washy kind of distortion it's a very uh, with which some people buy an OCD for 170 bucks to get that OCD is an overdrive pedal that gets you that blown up sound <laughs> Not very pleasant. Well, while we're here, let's test the attenuation down to one watt. So that's about this loud. So I'm talking. Now, if I go to point one watt, that is absolutely quiet. So that is totally something that you can use to play with a tube amp at home in your bedroom, but still have the full feeling of a tube amp. Good. So much for how loud does it get? When it is all the way blown up and loud, um, my first reaction is not a very super mega pleasant sound. Maybe with that speaker, who knows, but here, 
Let's see, with that uh, ox with the four twelve simulated. <laughs> thing it can be something you want if you do want to do sludge stuff which those guys apparently love that that's pretty damn cool if you want that kind of a fuzzy blown up sound for that style. The question is, of course, how well does it take Le Pedal? We have a vintage overdrive, which is pretty much a tube screamer, I can say that, from Harley Benton on the table, everything up on noon, and this is how it sounds. By the way, this is treble all the way up. speaker that's pretty neat that kid could get that woman tone you let in that everyone talks about the woman tone that a lot of the sounds you could get out of this are not modern sounds, not very open, not very clear, but more the vintagey variety. Um, that kind of drive distortion something. So here we go. Vintage overdrive. I'm one slide into that and I'm failing. That's what I want to do. Those mids are beautiful. Let's get the drive all the way down and crank the volume up, which is typical to be screamy. Behavior! Now we're blowing the amps, we're pushing the amps uh, preamp. shabby and get the volume down on the vintage and gain up and equalizer on
nice. Is that kind of leech sound that feels like, you know, when you had too much um. coffee and you got that, uh, that crap on your tongue, a little bit kind of a furry crap on your tongue? It's that in a sound, in a good way. I have no other way to describe that. I was just totally like dreaming and not even knowing that I'm in the freaking video. <laughs> Crunch distortion on the table, clocking in at 29.95, or something like that. attack now because of the pedal it's lacking a little bit of the response That's kind of that song from Pink Floyd. One of the, I mean, don't don't take my word for it, but it's probably one of the least expensive all tube amps on the market. It has an EL84, I guess, in the power amp. Looks like it. Uh, 12 AX7 in the preamp. One of each. Five watt can be attenuated, which is good for bedroom playing. Um, is this gonna be your band amp? No. I highly doubt it, because at the volumes that you need to get it to to play in a band, it gets very blown up. Um, it is easy to blow it up. With a crunch distortion, yeah, single notes, amazing. As soon as you give it chords, it tends to go, oh, and it's, it's easy to force it to its knees, let's put it this way. So I'm thinking it's not going to be your band amp. It's not going to be your loud amp. I think this is a very cool practice amp or bedroom amp, especially at the 0.1 watt. Um, and it's all tube, let's not forget that, or valve for you Brits. Um, which means, no, you're not dealing with any kind of hybrid bullshit. You have the feeling of tube, which also brings with it its, I can bring you to your knees, you little man, kind of a thing. So, um, I don't think this is ever going to be anyone's metal amp. The headroom's not there, not even in the slightest. It has a lot of vintage frequency kind of things. It has those beautiful Pilzig in German, uh, those, uh, those furry kind of mids, um, which for leads, lead work, phenomenally beautiful. It really loves those harmonics. It's, it's great for that. Again, with chords, it easily is brought to its knees and gets blown up. Then again, that can be cool if that's what you're looking for. Um, paired with the Harley Benton cap right there, which I think is a very cool cap, everyone thinks so, I was not super impressed 
because it, it was destroying a little bit. It did. It, it, it was. It wasn't. I don't think that's a good pairing. Um, no idea why. Maybe because it has just those mids that that cap doesn't like. In terms of build quality, this is killer. I mean, uh, go to the top cam, Leslie. This is great. The handle, which folds over. I don't know if it folds over enough for you to actually put something else on it. So then again, I don't quite know why it folds over. But it folds over and that is nice. Um, it is super solid. It's all metal. Um, I do not like that power switch. Because that kind of switch, to me, looks cheap. And it looks like an old coffee maker. We had these, you know, coffee makers in Germany, probably anywhere, with that type of switch. So for me, I would very much like a metal switch. You know, those flip switches that any amp has. Uh, it would make it more of a real product instead of, you know, an inexpensive product. So I would change that switch. Um, I think the EQ is very, very cool. And frankly, this couple of pedals, the Harley Benton guitar, a cab, maybe not that one, and um, you have, let me add that up, 100, 100 300, um, for four or five hundred bucks, you can have a full setup with three pedals and um, a pretty damn decent guitar. An all two bam valve for your Brits, uh, and you're good to go. No kitty practice shit. It's an all actual two bam. So as such, realistically, this is pretty damn killer. Now, if you add fifty bucks or something like this, I don't know. You can get one of those Joyo Bantams. Uh, these things here. One of these. Are they going to be a lot louder? Well, they're 20 watt, but they're 20 watt um, hybrids, so meaning transistors, so they're not going to be much louder. They might be louder and not go into that sound, but then again, it's not real tube, it's a preamp tube, and they have Bluetooth for some reason. So yeah, you could get that, it has a clean channel, which stays clean pretty much most of the time, yeah, but it's not all tube. See, that's where the difference is. These are pretty cool, but it's not the same thing. So, really, there is no uh, other thing that I know in that price range that's well-built and all that that can do that. Don't get it if you want to play metal. If you like into a classic rock 70s, early 70s kind of vibe, where they had exactly those sounds, this thing can deliver. Hell yeah. Just know what you're getting. It's a non-master volume amp. Okay. Um, and that's it from here. T-shirts available below at the link where it says, you know, now T-shirts available. Um, uh, more than these, please pay attention to the EU or US designation because that means there's different shipping. So if you're in the EU, get the EU version. And um, you can also get this mug. Uh, thanks to my patron people. Thanks to Harley Benton. You guys rock as always. In this case, classic rock. Uh, and uh, animals at uh, the end, you yeah. know.